Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. Got a lot of quests to do. So we'll start with the Overgrown Thicket, recover the book that was lost here. And then we'll see about confronting that Grave Thresh. You know what? Screw it. We'll just do this. I got an achievement. Reckoning Rampage. Ring of Dawn. Plus 7% damage during daytime. It's a little too niche for my taste. But if you're going for a cool thematic Paladin type build. Well, there you go. Bar guest. Oh, he's not down. My bad. I thought he was dead. So I don't have the regeneration anymore. I used to have regeneration, and now I don't. And <laughs> so I put myself in a bit of a pickle here. Yeah, it's good. Pop a health potion, I think. Okay, got stun locked a little bit there. And let me block. Alright, because that's over now. Pick up the Book of Gentle Beasts. Uh, the Book of Gentle Beasts. Behold the gentle beasts of field, hill, and wood. Unlike we who wear unnatural garments and betake such oddities as war and deceit, these noble beings are one with all around them. They do not question, hate, or fear. That's actually inaccurate. So if there weren't if there wasn't fear, then prey wouldn't react to getting hunted? Good stuff. It's not as good, really. Thirden's Helm of War. Anwar Braun, follower of Thirden, wore this armor in House of Valor tournaments. Oh wait, we've read that before. We had found the Greaves previously. Yeah, I'd rather have the health and the mana. 100%. Then Potent Chaucies, uh 5% melee block of efficacy, 30 health, and 30 mana. Yeah, because here's the third in Chaucis of War. There we go. Now my armor matches, except for my gloves, I think. Oh, that's one quest down. Probably be worth going back and turning this in first, because we are... Pretty close to leveling. 
What if they hit level 8 this episode? Now, some a lot of dungeons do have a shortcut back to the entrance. This one does not. It may have, but I don't have the detect hidden skill at the appropriate level. I, can see, I think you need level 5 detect hidden to find the some of the shortcuts back. Go fast travel back here real fast. Turn this in. Just to get it done, and then we'll go after the Grave Thresh for the Faith. If you make it as a hireling, they train you up. Greetings. Really? There's no need to stand around and gape. I have the Lost Book. Oh yes, from Overgrown Thicket, was it? Normally, that sort of thing is beneath even contract work. But these days, if the payer has enough coin to spare and is insistent enough, we put it on the board. Good then. That's a decent amount of money. Uh, let's, see, let's go sell. Really? There's no need I want to talk to you. Clean up my inventory real fast. Um, this guy. At your service. Need gauntlets or a fight? All right, we're sitting on a lot of money now. I think I might go ahead and get my uh, blacksmithing upgraded. And sword? Aye. Just because we're here. What do you want from an old sour blacksmith? And I think that's as high as he can train because I had two points in it already. Blacksmith? So now that should be. Yeah. That'll help out a little bit. I think that helps with repair hammers, right? That's the only reason I got it, because I assume that it does. It increases the effectiveness of repair kits across the board. I think eventually... Yeah, it just keeps increasing the effectiveness of them. Which is good, because then I can repair them for cheaper. Since I do find repair kits, I don't have to buy them. It'll save me a little bit of money here and there. Oh, goodness. Was there a healer in here? I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know if it's cheaper to heal or to buy a bed. Alright, this is where the Grave Thresh quest is at. I'm going to activate it. Uh, I'm gonna pick a fight over here real fast. Just because we're in the neighborhood. There we go. Some easy experience. And uh, we also stored up some more fate. So hopefully we get enough before the boss fight. Alright, Gorguoth. Yeah, Lorestone. Sir Sagral was a clever rogue of great and merry cheer. Oh, come and listen to the song of he who had no fear, of he who we hold dear. There's some really neat designs in this game. Like a, 
really like the faces in the wood. Pretty cool. Brash dustling. You have no role in fey telling. This story belongs to one of us, not some whelp fresh from the cradle. First that strange maiden, now this. What is it you want here in Gorgoath? I wish to uh, the strange maiden. She approached each of us who is vying for an empty seat in the House of Ballads, sometimes in the forest, sometimes in the plains. Each time she offered reward beyond our imagining. All she asked in return was that we infiltrate the house as her agent. Needless to say, none accepted. Uh, Thresh's lair. The beast and Gorgoath Hollow work together, like lovers. The grave Thresh emerges to feed and kill, to collect sustenance for itself and the Hollow. When it returns to its lair, the Thresh is embraced by Gorgoath, wrapped in a warm living shell that protects it until the next time they hunger. Okay, I wish to help. Alas, Sagrils is a twisted tale, and we could use every available hand. You may stay, but the seat will never be filled by a mortal. Of that I am certain. We were too late to catch the Thresh as it fed. Now the beast slumbers guarded by the vines and weeds of Gorgoath. But all is not lost. If we can destroy the roots before they take hold, we can rouse the beast. Come, I'll keep the Thresh occupied while you seek out the heart vines. Keep your eyes open. Oh, he's following me around. Okay. Interesting. Alright, what do we got going on here? Yeah, we'll go this way first. like me some healing. <laughs> hey, this is one of those ones. Oh, it's beneath us. Okay. Is that little whirlwind spell is really annoying. Uh, you, I don't think you can learn that yourself as a character, but a lot of enemies will use that and it, it tracks you. It tracks you really hard. Luckily we haven't run across enemies that use it yet. Well, not luckily. They, they come later. Don't worry. And they are not fun. Actually killing them? It looks like I'm just kind of pushing them over. Gorgoroth wishes us gone. Brownies.
So I don't know if... Let's go this way. There's a hidden object over here. I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know if something. Lost my train of thought. Should be below us, right? Yeah, there he is. That is the Grave Thresh. So, I think this guy that's with us betrayed. He may have accepted the Maiden's deal, I don't remember. Uh, the Maiden he talked about. It's like, obviously, no one accepted. I remember something being sketchy about this guy. But I might just be thinking of how he's semi-hostile towards us because he doesn't want us here. Another lore stone. Two times he drank his weight in wine, and many lovers pleased, and drunk from such idle pleasures, with lethargy was seized, on beds of grass he eased. Uh, let's see, where is lore stones, Gorguath? Two out of five, so there's gonna be five inside of this dungeon. Then plus six damage with Fey Blades. Six percent damage, sorry. They must all be below us, right? Alright, then here we can finally upgrade to level five. So now we can find hidden doors. Confirm that. So need 28. How many points do we have in this? 27 for one short. I just want to clear out my inventory real fast. Actually, is this any better? No. Actually, let's uh map some of these. I want to burn through some of these um, stolen ones. for lore stones because I won't leave here until I find all of them because every bonus is good even if I don't end up using it. That's weird. A little graphical glitch. That's the way out. Alright, so we've already been there. So many 
many of them. Running longbow. I wonder if that's any better than my current. Uh, bleed damage is better. Uh, bleed increases the damage of your physical attacks, I believe. And since I am mostly a physical class and character, it makes more sense to have bleed on my bow because I can shoot an enemy with my bow and trigger the bleed and then start smacking them around. Also, I don't think there's a resistance to bleed in this game. That's all I see in here. I don't know if... Hidden doors appear on the map like the... Uh, like the hollow logs and the rock piles do. Long swords and stuff, I'd appreciate a new hammer. That's not too much to ask. Alright, we did get a new piece of armor, which might be better. Yeah, shoulder gauntlets are better than this by a lot of armor, so we'll equip that. Azerite hammer, huh? Fay Blades of Song and the Ballad Signet Ring. Can't use it anyway. Then plus 5% damage and plus 5% damage resist. This ring bears the harp crest of the House of Ballads. What does this say? Heirlooms of the House of Ballads, recently born by its champion Sir Sagrul. These blades have slain with a the storied grace and dignity. How can this be? Sir Sagrel dead? I do not understand. Such a tragedy has never occurred in this song. Not in all the seasons of the telling. At the end of this ballad, Sagrel defeats the Grave Thresh. He is victorious. I don't know how, but someone has changed the song of Sir Sagrel. Listen. We are not alone. I do not like this. I forgot to activate my radio. Frost robes. 
A modern, elegant, and ornamented version of a traditional Varani Warpriest robe. Where they need to be wearing a Varani Warpriest robe, considering he is a, uh... A fey, and Varani are humans. A flame blade. A gift from a noble to the, his bard, rewarding his shameless puffery in praise of the noble's virtues and good looks. I don't remember how to activate the radio. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's try to activate my health regen potion. But couldn't remember how. Alright, so we have a few paths to take. We're gonna go this way first. Well, there's a chest. If I can get a better helmet than a, or sorry, better hammer than I may as well try. So those guys may not have been worth... Oh, come on, this is definitely a hidden thing. I detect hidden five. It's a pile of rocks. It can't be that hard to see and then dig through that. Yeah, I'd much rather have the health than the mana. Oh, this is a lot better. I'll just hold out until I find a, uh, a hammer, hopefully. But still, experience is experience. Can't go wrong with that. Sir Sakral approached the spirit deep within Gorguath. He slashed its wicked stock and root safe from behind its wrath, slyly from a side path. So I think that was only four, right? Yeah, missing one of these lore stones. They're really easy to spot. How'd I miss one? More enemies appeared at least. Maybe. Oh, there's a hidden door over here. I bet you it's behind that. Because that was talking about a side path. I wonder if that triggered this hidden door reveal. We we'll have to go back up top and check. At least it won't be boring. We have enemies to fight on the way. Was that one? That one's by itself. All right. Did 
Did I miss one in the entrance? I feel like that would have been a good place for one that I just walked past. Well, let's go check out the hidden door first, then I can worry about that. I can check, keep my eyes peeled for one on the way. Because they stand out like a sore thumb. They're not exactly hidden. I'm up here, I may as well just double check. that dungeon cleared and it should be let me double check yep checked off if only I used fey blades I'd be in a good spot I will return to the house of ballads and turn in this quest Now that I have hidden door, let's check something. Or I can de detect hidden doors, I guess. We'll just fast travel here. So I'm wondering if there's any hidden doors that I missed up to this point. Well, thank you. the grave fresh. What a tale you've claimed for yourself, my friend. You were granted the seat of Sir Sagril and all privileges here too, including membership in the Court of Enchantments. Alas, there is no time for celebration. There has been another incident. The king has asked for you. Uh, what incident? One similar to the plight of Sagril, I dare say. Another erratic chain of events. The Ballad of Bloody Bones has taken an unexpected turn. The great Sir Ferrara has been sent to face this new challenge. But he will need your assistance. That is how the song is sung. Uh, why does he need me? 
In every telling, Sir Ferrara falls at the hands of bloody bones. But he is not left to perish alone in the cold of Uduan. Sir Sagril, his knight hand, comes to him. Sagril revives the fallen hero and brings him back to the lights of this summer life. Without Sagril, without you, this ballad cannot be sung. Hey, what happens in this ballad? Sir Ferrara tracks the villain Bloody Bones to his lair and rescues the fair maiden, sacrificing himself in the process. This is Ferrara's most selfless act, to give up his own glory for the good of another. It has always been this way, and must be preserved for all seasons. Alright, I am ready now. Excellent. Speak with King Wenson in the oratory. It stands on the crest of Ettenmere, where it once hosted the lords and ladies of the High Court. Take this potion. You will need it to revive Sir Ferrara. Unless mortals have suddenly created a method of resurrection, it's our only option. Oh, funny story. You will know when the time has come to use it. Now go, find King Wenson. The telling is in your hands now. Uh, bloody bones. A poor cursed soul who wanders the forest in search of his ancient love. She left him, for he was a cruel and lonely villain. Now he takes out his rage on the innocent. Uh, King Wenson. He is Wenson the Bold, Falcon of Detir, Annihilator of Elkmar, Captain of the Gilded Gorgon, Grasper of the Spear of Light, and Baron of the Forsaken Plain. Wenson founded the House of Ballads many seasons ago. It was meant to be a source of pride for all Summer Fay. Our glory belongs to everyone. Uh, resurrection potion. If you must know, it is a potion I concocted with the aid of several companions. It will bring Sir Ferrara back from the brink of death, if used correctly, of course. This ballad requires his survival, and since the usual Sagril is not here to offer rescue, it is you who must do it. Okay, and the oratory. Many seasons ago, it was the retreat of the High King himself, where he hunted with the heroes of the Court of Enchantments, and was regaled with the songs of ages past. But that was long ago. The Oratory, like so much of our beloved Summer Court, has wilted in heat of time. It is a hollow shell of what it was. And where is the oratory? The Court of Enchantments has marched south to face the threat and to quell rumors. They reside in the House Oratory in Ettenmere. Farewell. All right. Another job well done. Let us go mercantile. I shop with somebody, I need to sell all the stuff that I have. I do want to see how this sword looks real fast. Reminds me of the Sword of Aeons a little bit from uh, Fable. Well, this is actually better. We're going to use the Azurite Hammer. So we do have an upgrade. Just not a great one. Not an exciting one. Can I trade with you, or are you just Always a trainer? It's a pleasure to gaze upon your sweet face. Bye bye. How about you? I think he just does the uh... beautiful bell mate. And I look around thinking, what go on then? Oh, he doesn't do anything. Hmm. That's a fate weaver. Gosh darn it. Just want to sell my stuff. I guess I just get back to town and do it. Don't I need to go back there anyway? You return to Herc. So we do have another quest we can do. While I'm there, I can do some selling.
Also, I do want to fast travel over here real quick. I want to see if there's any hidden doors that might, might pop up. Because there is a suspicious looking area to the south of this. If I remember correctly. So we go this way. I'm gonna go check it out because I'm pretty sure this is a hidden door. Or I might remember finding it in a previous when I played last. Or I'm just imagining things. That's okay, we got some experience, so it's worthwhile. So unless I get arrested, experience is always a gain. back. I was so worried that the Fae had taken out the revenge on you. As usual, I was wrong. The Fae has recovered, thanks to your potion. In fact, she wishes to stay in the village for the next several weeks as she recovers. Goreheart will be a new community, a place of compassion, and it's thanks to you. Please, take my sword and buckler. They will serve you well, as they have served me. A uh, Worsworn Keep. I believe they call it Shield Ring. A recruitment stop for those who wish to march westward to war. Follow the road. You'll see its towers over the trees in Yolven. Hope you stay in town. Let's talk to Alluvia. Well, let's see what he gave us first after we level up. I might keep rock and detect hidden. Our persuasion might be okay. Ooh, traps are displayed. That would be good. I'm also a big fan of this. So I really care about the crime stuff. I just want to persuade people. Because you get better rewards that way. Oftentimes. So I have six. I think that's fine for now. So if I remember correctly, Adrenaline Surge at one time was bugged. So whenever you fall beneath 25% health, you should get... Tw yeah, 20% health. And 30% damage, but it, I think there's a time where it damaged you. I don't know if they fixed that. So instead of restoring 20% health, you took 20% damage instead. Um, I might just get Quake. Well, it's more mana. I don't really use mana. So because a short-term resistance and interruption at the expense of armor, allowing you to shrug off blows while taking slightly more damage. So last six seconds reduces your armor by 50%, cost 25 mana. I think I'm going to try Adrenaline Surge and see if it's bugged. Let's hope it's not. And then 20% melee attack, plus 24% block efficacy, and plus 10% stun duration. Oh no, whoops. I'm going to do that. And then he gave us... Junk, right? Here's like the soldier or something. Oh, it's actually better. Oh, it's for finesse. That's dumb. Then what did he g I thought he gave us a soldier's oh soldier's longsword. Okay. Let's talk to Aluvia. 
Greetings, stranger. I understand that you are to thank for my longevity. I'm in your debt. Our people have too long stood apart. Perhaps together we can change that. I go heart village. My interest in humans brought me to the boundaries of your village, and that led to my unfortunate injuries. I plan to stay here, to learn. Gorhart is not simply a village. It is a seed. Within its heart and shell exists all of what makes humanity wonderful and all that makes it terrible. Okay, a house of ballads. They are the greatest of us, lords and ladies of the telling. But I was never bound for glory in their ranks. I know that now. Like all Fae, I will take what I've learned from their experience and light the darkest wood. My story is their story. For the telling belongs to all of us. And Aluvia. I serve the House of Ballads as a squire, but I've not been home for almost a full season. They will be expecting me. All right. Well, there you have it. Herc will protect us. That quest is finally done. Let us go sell, and then I'll call it an episode, and the next one we will... Well, I don't know what yet. Exciting, isn't it? A fae living in the village like... We're sitting on a lot of money. An ordinary person? Some... Wait, hold on. We have... Those to sell. Excitement for a change. Don't be as Alright, there we go. Alright, um, I'm going to call it here. Next episode, I will decide on what we're going to do next. We'll probably go... Probably, blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. We'll probably pursue the main quest because it's nearby. Close to the village. Oh wait, there's a quest over here. Let's go talk to her. Gazella Wolflack. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I'm a bit lost in thought. Today could be the day, you know? Camden could be the next one to round that corner. Hmm. I don't think so. Uh, who's Camden? He is my husband. Although we were together for only one night before he marched. His militia fights under the banner of General Finn. We had one night together. And then he departed for three long years. He will return. My heart tells me so. I don't know why you're hanging out in a graveyard then. Oh, well, I'll find him. I can't give you much in return, but what I have is yours. The Alpha army is notoriously secretive with their information, and all my pleas for help have been ignored. Yeah, that makes you sense. You might find something in Dyden Hill. That is where Camden volunteered. Of course, that was years ago. Thank you for your kindness. I will be waiting here for news. Uh, where did you last see him? On that very road, the one leading east to the Rathia coast. He was heading off to enlist at the station in Dyden Hill. That was years ago. How would I look to him now? Goodbye. All right. A few different quests we can pursue. Um. Ah, oh, there's a hidden door. I want to go check this out real fast. So... That way we can just focus on quests in the next episode. I'll let this one go a little long. By a little long, I mean quite a bit long. But it's a big game, so it's fine. There will be plenty of long episodes to come. Um, which way is the fastest? This way's yeah. This is the way. And no, that's not a reference to anything. I haven't watched that show.
They don't want to fight me. Hard to spell chest. Mm. Let me save before I do this. Because we might, might not survive this. Oh, that was... And it's locked? Alright, that was easy at least. Ooh, Faye Summer Shield. That's a finesse thing. Against the dark, against the light, shield me sun from winter's night. Well, still, pretty neat. One of the upsides to, uh, you know what, let's teleport down here. I'm just going to check for hidden doors real fast. We'll just do a circuit of all the places we've been to. The three regions. I doubt there's one down here, but you never know. I'll check over here. I don't see one. There's a quest right there. Now, wait, what is this quest? One second. Oh, okay, we have a ways to go for that one. Where is that at? Oh, that's not very far. I do want to go up here and see what's going on up there. We might do that next time, just to see. Because this place isn't labeled, so I don't know what's up here. So I think we'll go check that out in the next one, and then we'll worry about doing these other quests. I don't know which direction is best to go in. I mean, Edmir is kind of where our major side quest is taking us. And it's also where we talk to Arden at, so maybe we'll go to Webwood and then Edmir. Yeah, we'll clear out everything to the west, and then we'll start working our way eastward. That way we don't have to worry about backtracking. That'll work out. I'm going to call it here. Off camera, I'm going to do some probably fighting of these enemies, and then I'll meet you guys up here. We'll explore this northern region in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.